Right. That same enemy came into your supermarket and killed us too. Right. Right. And we're going to the same enemy for help. That is what the Bible calls vanity. Right. Read it again. Lamentations chapter 4 verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. Read on. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We've been watching for America to save us, asking for reparations, which we're never going to get. Right. Asking for 40 acres on a mule, which we're never going to get. Right. Asking for vain help. We're the only people that have to pay twice or three times as much for health care. It's vain help. Right. It is vain help. Drug dealers don't, do, don't even commit the, the, so, this much crime. Who created fentanyl? It wasn't us. Where did that come from? From your enemy. We didn't create that. But you go to your enemy. You go to the mouth of the serpent for help. And it's vain. And you get help mixed with a little bit of venom. That's what you get. Because you'll have your you'll have some sort of help with the stimulus check and then they tack it on to your taxes. What kind of help is that? That is vain help. Read it again. Lamentations chapter four verse seventeen. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. And and it's vain help, brother, you hear that? It's vain help. We're receiving vain help. We're looking for help, and this country can't save us. Now, guess what? There's a two-part to this Can I ask you a one. question? Go ahead, ask your question. Why are we going through what we're going through now? Because we broke God's commandments. Yes, right. That's it. That's it. So don't try to put nothing else out here. Not we have to put, what are you no, talking about? No, no. Read that again. Salvation. Jesus. Our eyes has yet built for our nations, vain all help. Nations, don't you see? Don't you see that you have a murder weapon right there in the middle of the people with that cross? That crucifix is a murder weapon. They killed Christ on that. Jesus Christ never came with that. They put him on a, a cross. They killed him with a cross. His own people. We did. Read back. We did. Read that. You're no, right. We did. You're right. We did. But guess what? All right. So don't, we're don't go here. We've repented. And now we know that Christ. That's what we preach. That's all we preach. That's all we preach. That's the brother that we need to look for. All we preach. Not a Caucasian animal you call Jesus Christ. That man to the kingdom. Read that. As Jesus. for us, our eyes is yet filled for our vain help. That's it. We're looking for vain help. No, this country cannot help us. Stop, stop focusing this on This country help. cannot Focus help us. Yourself. No justice, no peace, no help. Read. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We've been watching for centuries. We've been watching for centuries and our slave masters our captors have never helped us. That's right. They'll help us to a whip in the back. They'll sell you pizza and wings. Bring it up. They'll take your money and then leave. Bring it up. That is not help. Now, there's a two, there's a second part to this scripture, which happened to our people system. Listen up. Read. They hunt our steps. Who hunts our steps? Sister, I know. I'm knowledgeable. So say, I just know. say it, then help us. Let's share that I knowledge know. together, sister. Who hunts us? Those people. Who? Those people. Like who? Arabs? Oh. Arabs? Oh. Arabs? Oh. Arabs? Europeans? The Europeans? Those yes. People. Yes, the Caucasian. That's right. They oh. hunt. They hunt. Y'all never heard the scripture in your, in your church? Read it again. Lamentations chapter 4 verse 18. They hunt our steps. Whose steps are being hunted? In the street. Bring it out. In a supermarket. Our steps are being hunted in a supermarket. Where is your pastor right now? The solution, sister, is to keep the commandments. Come out of those pants. Yes, keep right. the commandments put on a skirt because you're a beautiful princess. That's That's right. Right. That's the other solution is us to take care of us and not the 
First day. Why do you cut me off when you don't want to listen? Sister, to what I'm why I want do you cut me off when you don't want to listen? Exodus chapter 16, why verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today, and see that you will see. So bake what you need to bake or cook, and then boil what you need to boil. And have enough. What, read on? And that which remaineth. And that which remains, the leftovers. Which remaineth over. Lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So like that you have something to eat on the Sabbath. See that? So we're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath because that's what God said. Good. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you love God? I don't, I don't know what God is. Oh, okay. That's, a, that's an honest answer. You don't know what God, who God is because God is. our churches out here have failed us. No. They have failed us to show us who God is. Let's deal with Christ first. Okay, because Christ died for our sins. So let's show you who Christ is, and then I'll show you who God is. Get me um, Revelation. Chapter 1 and 3. Uh, 1 and 1. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Hello. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Today is the first day that we are going to reveal Christ unto you. Yes. So-called black man. Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, black woman, read out the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Are you a servant of Christ? Sister, are you a servant of Christ? Yes, I am. All right, we're going to show you who Christ is because many Christians today, they tell you it doesn't matter what he looks like, right? Sister wants to know why does things like this keep happening to us black people? Because we broke God's commandments. And yes. it's going to continue happening until we acknowledge our sins. Good. Let's deal with Christ first, though, and I'll, and I'll deal with you further. That's, sister, sister, that's the quick answer. But there's a longer answer. If you have time, bear with us. We got you. Good. Read that. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. A lot of the things that are happening in our community are things that are shortly coming to pass. Like this mass murder. These are things are, that are part of the prophecy that your churches are not teaching. You understand? They want to they wanna come around and kumbaya and let, let's get a minute of silence. We don't need, we need, we need a, a, a lifetime. We need an entire lifetime of peace. And it ain't going to come because these churches ain't teaching it. Right. Go on. Jump down to verse 10. Like I said. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Check it out, sister. This is the Lord's day. You heard that, sister? This is the Lord's day. Read on. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Who's the Alpha and who's the Omega, sister? Christ. Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. You know? Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. Why would Jesus tell John to write it in a book? It's just like the police out here that write reports after something happens. You understand what I'm saying? The reason why Christ told John to write it in a book was because he knew that his people were going to ask who he is in the future. Today. Read on. And send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Those are the seven places that we were scattered in slavery, like America. America is a place where we were scattered in slavery. Did you know that? They didn't teach you that maybe in, in school. They should have, but they won't. You know why? They're, now they're trying to erase that information. They don't want to talk about that. By the time she's your age, she's not going to know unless you tell her. She'll go to school, but they won't tell her that she's part of the diaspora. Read. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So now John is writing that report that I was talking about. I'm turning around to see who I'm talking to. Go ahead. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks.
Indians. What he got on his chest? That's a menorah. Where's that cross that everyone's talking about? Look, there's a cross rolling away across the street. We know. If Christ, if the symbol of Jesus Christ was the cross, how come he didn't come in the midst of a cross? He came in the midst of a menorah. That's right. Because he's a Jew from the tribe of Judah. That's right. One of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, which you are. Read, read it again. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. How come it didn't say the Son of God? Because Christ was born from Mary and Joseph, That's not the Holy right. Spirit. That's right. The Son of Man. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Like that brother right here. Come up. Come up. Oh, man. He's a perfect example of who Christ would look like. Go ahead. Stand right here. Go ahead. And clothed with a garment down to the foot. You see this garment? He's got a garment all the way down to his feet. All the way down to the fringes. Go ahead. And girt about the pants with a golden girdle. This is considered a girdle. But Christ has one that's gold. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. This is what Jesus Christ had. Woolly hair and woolly hair on his face. On his head and on his face. His head and his hair were white like wool. Go ahead. As white as snow. This is an old way white, but it's close enough. Christ, like yours, that's white. Go ahead. And his eyes were in the flame of fire. His eyes are not like a flame of fire because he hasn't been drinking wine. But that's what Christ did. He drank wine, not to get drunk, but he had the whites of his eyes red with fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, sister? Gold. Brown. Brown. Now, check out, let's say it's gold. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep it as gold. What happens with gold if you burn it? It'll tarnish and it'll turn like iron. It'll say what? It'll tarnish I want you to say it on the mic. Say it again. It will tarnish and turn like iron. Do you know what tarnish means? Brother? Hey. Brother? Do you know what tarnish means? What does it mean? It's not turn different. It'll blacken. Right? Like, like black fish, like blackened fish. Right? Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. That's the tarnishing part that you were talking about. So Christ's feet like gold, but if they burned in a furnace, then it would be this color. See that? Yes. This is bronze burned in a furnace. Yes. Right. That's what Christ looks like. That's right. I'm not saying that this is what Christ. I'm not saying this is Christ. I'm saying this man right here is a depiction of who Christ is according to the Bible. That's right. Now, thank you, brother. Now, let me ask you a quick question. If that's the case, bring forth the criminal. Bring it out. Who is this guy? Bring it out. It's not the entire planet saying that this is Jesus Christ. Yet we just proved that Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Where did that, what Bible scripture did the churches use to depict that Christ was a white man? Bring it out. I'll wait. Bring it out. I'll wait. Their image. Okay, so now. Who, okay. You know what she said? Say it again. Their image. Their image. Give me a uh, Mac. Yes, thank you. No. Watch this. It's in a book that they took called the Apocrypha, which means hidden things. Why do you want to hide these books? Because they don't because want her to figure it out. They don't want her to figure it out. See, we figured it out, and everyone else is scared. That's why they ran us off that corner over there. No, no, there's, you'll see, there's 14 books. Go ahead. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. Yeah. Yeah. And laid open the book of the law. That's the Bible. When the enemy, the Greeks, at this time were in power, they took our book, our book of the law, and did what with it? And laid open the book of the law, 
wherein the heathen had sought to paint the to what? To paint to what? To paint. What's paint? Paint. You put color. Paint. Like you want to like let's say you want to paint the baby. You want to paint the baby's room. You paint it white or you paint it pink or blue, whatever, right? But no, we're talking about the it. Oh, you just caught it. They sought to paint our images. That's right. This is what Mary and Christ looked like before. Bring it out. Then they, this guy took it and painted his image. Right. Read it again. First Maccabees chapter 3 verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. It didn't go as far as statues because we didn't have statues. If we did, we had, we had angels and things of that nature, but we never idolized them. We never, we never laid down and say, oh, heavenly angel, save us. We didn't do that. We had images. We just never prayed to them like we, how we do now in the Catholic Church, in the Episcop in Episcopalian Church, in all these different churches. We didn't have that. You understand? They're the ones that brought that idolatry to us, but we got wrapped up in it. Read. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So they took our book and started painting over our saints. The Bible is made for the black, Latino, and Native Americans who are the Israelites. That's right. We are the Israelites. But they told you that you're black. What country is black in? Where do Chinese people come from? Where do Russians people come from? Where do uh, Japanese people come from? Where do black people come from? Thank you. See how easy that is? They say that we're black. Now, they'll say we're African American. How can we be two continents at the same time? The word Africa comes from the name of uh, Scipio Africanus, who conquered Hannibal in the Second Punic Wars and conquered the entire continent. That continent was not called Africa. It was called the land of Ham. That's right. They took that continent and called it Africa. He called it after himself, Africa. Then America. The Bible calls it Argeret. That's a different name. America has a, has a biblical name too. But they took that land by the, this uh, Italian uh, explorer called Amerigo Vespucci. Uh, Scipio Africanus was Italian also. Amerigo Vespucci conquered this, uh, this area, which was originally called Turtle Island from the Native Americans. Right. And then they took it and called it America. So now, if you call yourself African American, you're Italian twice. Do you have any ties to the Italian people? So you cannot be African American. Whoa. That's easy. I have a question for What's you. Question? What, what laws um, of the land do uh, the Israelites go on? What, 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 what? All of them. So we, we keep all of the laws that the land has to say. Like for instance, don't run the red light. What happens if you run the red light? You get a ticket. I don't know any of these brothers out here that want to get a ticket. We don't want that. You understand? We don't want no tickets, so we'll keep the law. Now if they say, if they tell us in the future, this Bible is outlaw, guess what? I'll see you in jail. Right, right. That's right. Because no. that's one law that I'm not gonna follow. If they tell me that this Bible becomes outlaw at a certain time, which it will, because this Bible goes against all of the wickedness that's in this world. Right. We are the light of the world. That's yes, right. And the darkness is closing in. Yes, right. We ain't gonna turn our light off because we can't. And we don't even want to if we could. Right. 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 That's right. <laughs> Next brother. Are we out? Oh, Matthew 27. So we're gonna leave. We gotta wrap it up. Muy, muy buen. Muy bien, hermano. Te dieron, tenemos un papel. Okay, muy bien. Tenemos una, we have a school in Rochester. All 
right? Then I'm going to go to school and get two hours away. But guess what? If I told you that I had a million dollars two hours away. Will I go for the million dollars now? Because money is the root of all evil. No, 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 no. The love of money is the root of all evil. Okay, well. But if you could do some help with the community with that money, you wouldn't do that? I, I, yeah, I would get to yeah, share yeah, because the more we, I share, the we more do. it comes back. A right. But the and thing is, what, I, what I'm trying to tell you is that we have benefits with this scripture. That's what we're trying to do. We have, we're going to have a school here, but we need people like you to support and help. Help us build. We're not here to hurt the people. We're here to save souls. Well, this, I'm, I'm familiar this with is it. the book of Matthew, chapter 26 and verse 6. Now... When Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. Right. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath brought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. So anyone who said that we're mis misogynist, that we're macho, you understand, machista, is wrong. Because a machista or a macho man or, or a man uh, who is misogynist would never read this scripture out. We're giving honor to a sister. That's right. And we honor our sisters, our mothers, our daughters. We got families. They're not here. But they're waiting for us to come back. I have another question we have one wife. That's right. That's right. That's what you're alluding to. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. That's right. That's right. Every That's man right. is given one wife, and every woman has one man, one That's husband. Right. And they're supposed to honor each other because we're co-heirs to the kingdom of God. That's, That's right. All right? So take a look. Follow us. Find us. we got much information. This is how to help our yeah, on the back. I have another one. On the back. Do you think that they should go in there and rebuild that store? Because I've been talking, my family is in St. Louis, and we talk about this. I feel that um, they should tear the store down because it was people that got killed in there. Um, and they should rebuild another store or one of these empty lots. But to have to go back in there where a uh, horrific crime that would was be, yeah. committed, I mean, that's a cheap way out to, as you say, put some paint on it and stuff. But you still have people's family that died in there. So the proper thing for me, was, and I have not heard anybody talk about that because they say they don't have a store in this community, is to rebuild a new store. Well, the first thing and that, more stores. Well, the first thing that we need to start rebuilding is ourselves. Right. That's true. Us as individuals need to rebuild ourselves because there's a lot of there's a lot of self hate, a lot of self hate. Our yeah. our mothers, our daughters, our sisters, they hate themselves. They they put they, they put fake hair in there. That's you understand? Like that, That's beautiful right there. No makeup. You understand? No war paint. And there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with makeup. There's nothing wrong wearing wearing you know wearing earrings and things of that nature. But our people have to start with this, start ending the self hate, and then once you're done, it's kind of like flying an airplane. If that thing comes down, you put it on yourself, and then you help the next person. Fix yourself first, and then help the next one. But you have to be an example, sister. You have to be an example. Okay. But we're wrapping up. We'll talk at another time. Um, I pray that our community heals. Um, it's not going to be easy, but. Y'all need to repent and keep the commandments because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. More things like this are going to happen. Don't be surprised. But it's because we broke God's commandments. It's because of the reason that they happened. Okay? With that, we say shalom.